His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, paid a visit to the Representatives Council today, leading a government delegation to express appreciation to the role of MPs in supporting the government's directives to ensure reinforcing national action and achieving aspired goals. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister met with Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Al Mullah and his deputies and members of the Council in the presence of the Speaker of the Shura Council, Ali Al Salah. His Royal Highness asserted the government's keen interest to enrich constructive cooperation between the legislative and executive branches to consolidate parliamentarian practices and achieve the shared goals of both branches. This is in the public interest through preserving the security and stability of the country and ensuring the continuity of progress and prosperity. He affirmed the government's commitment to strengthen government and parliamentarian cooperation in order to successfully face all challenges. He commended the Representatives Council's understanding of the new directives imposed by the economic developments and challenges that Arab and regional countries are facing due to the fall of oil prices in international markets, in addition to political, security and military tension in the region. He pointed out that the true achievement would be executing development plans that guarantee the continuity of progress and support all efforts in overcoming economic and security threats. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister thanked the MPs for their service to the homeland and appreciated the civil and democratic discussions regarding the new directives imposed by economic challenges, which was necessary to achieve the best interests of both the country and the people. He said the government's top priority is the citizens, saying that the new government directives were difficult to take but necessary to overcome the current phase. He added that this phase requires stronger cooperation between the People's Government and the People's Council in order to turn the ongoing challenges into elements of success that guarantee the continuity of progress. His Royal Highness said that preserving the higher interests of the Kingdom must be the ultimate goal, asserting the need to join efforts to ensure the success of the shared government and parliamentary directives for the best interests of the country as well as the development of its people. The Representatives Council Speaker said the visit of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister reflects his keenness to review the new government directives with the Council amid the ongoing economic challenges in line with the strong government and parliamentary partnership. He highlighted His Royal Highness's understanding of the MP's proposals regarding the requirements of the current phase and the needs to reinforce national action in order to overcome all challenges. The Shura Council Speaker expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keen interest in strengthening joint cooperation between the executive and legislative branches, highlighting His Royal Highness's pioneering role in consolidating the Kingdom's democratic experience.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gudabia Palace several senior state officials and ministers. His Royal Highness noted the importance of loyalty to the requirements of national development in order to achieve the aspired goals despite obstacles facing the economic and security fields due to current regional and international circumstances. He praised the vital and patriotic role of the national press and columnists in raising awareness regarding the regional political, economic and security situation. He asserted the press comprehends the impact of economic developments on Bahrain and other regional countries, highlighting the journalists' awareness of the importance of achieving the best methods to overcome the current phase. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Gudabia Palace. His Royal Highness commended the excellent organisation as well as the local and international success of the fourth edition of the Bahrain International Air Show, which is supported and patronised by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. He thanked the personal representative and chairman of the Supreme Organising Committee of BIAS 2016, his Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication Kamal bin Ahmed for the outstanding organisation of the event and hailed the tremendous efforts of the exhibition's organisers. He also commended the wise participation and attendance of the event in addition to the major deals that have been signed which will contribute to pushing forward national economic development and increase investment in the aviation field. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed the importance of reinforcing cooperation between the executive and legislative branches to achieve the best interests of the country and the people. The Cabinet meeting also praised the holding of the 41st Fine Arts Exhibition and the contributions of Bahraini artists and creativity that reinforces Bahrain's status at both cultural and artistic levels. The meeting highlighted the hosting of the first ministerial meeting of the Arab-India Cooperation Forum, which confirms the deep-rooted relations between Arab countries and India, especially in economic and commercial cooperation, and urged the further enhancement of cooperation to achieve both sides' progress and prosperity. Finally, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed all government bodies to commit to the procedures of ownership in order to preserve everybody's rights. The Cabinet also discussed the issues and memoranda listed on its agenda, which included reviewing the proposed unified system of the management of the ministries and government bodies with the representatives, councils, committees, and the importance of providing parliamentary committees with all the necessary information to facilitate their work. The meeting also discussed a memorandum in relation to the suitable method for government bodies to discuss draft laws with the legislative authority. 
The Cabinet approved a memorandum regarding reorganising Bahrain tender boards and reviewed a report presented by the Interior Ministry regarding Bahrain's implementation of its commitments towards the United Nations Convention Against Corruption. The meeting reviewed a report presented by the Ministry of Works, Municipal, Council and Urban Planning regarding the Ministry's bids since January 2015. The Cabinet also noted a number of proposals from the Representatives' Council. Following the Cabinet meeting, Minister of Information and Parliament Affairs Isa Al Hamadi held a press conference in which he outlined the issues that had been discussed during the meeting. He said that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister confirmed the importance of reinforcing cooperation with legislative authority. The Minister said the interrogation request filed by a number of MPs is an internal affair of the Representatives' Council. He said that more visions and ideas will be reviewed between the Executive and Legislative Authorities in regard to redirecting subsidies to citizens. He highlighted that Bahraini media institutions are performing their role and that the Ministry of Information Affairs is committed to all media laws and legislation. Regarding regional issues, Minister Al Hamadi pointed out that the region is going through a war with terrorism, which is affecting the security of all countries in the region. Minister of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning Issam bin Khalafa also took part in the press conference during which he outlined the number of bids and tenders that have been raised and awarded during last year is 130 with the total cost of 144 million Bahraini dinars. He pointed out that Tubli Power Station expansion project will be announced for bids soon, highlighting that the expansion cost will be 96 million Bahraini dinars, funded by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Kuwait in line with the Gulf Development Fund. Regarding sewage and sanitation fees, the minister confirmed that the matter is currently being discussed by the Representatives Council with the government directives to ensure that the issue doesn't affect the citizens. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa participated in the Arab League ministerial meeting held in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. The minister affirmed that the meeting falls in line with the keenness of Arab countries to follow up on the latest regional and international developments and to exchange points of view in order to further develop joint Arab action in various fields, in particular means of combating violence and terrorism, so as to maintain regional peace and stability. On the sidelines of the Arab League ministerial meeting, the Minister of Foreign Affairs participated in a meeting which discussed recent developments with Iran and means to seize its interference in the domestic affairs of Arab countries with the United Arab Emirates Foreign Minister Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan and Egypt's Foreign Minister Sama Shukri in the presence of the Arab League Secretary General Dr Nabil Al Arabi. The ministers discussed the work mechanisms of the committee in order to raise their recommendations to the Arab League Ministerial Council for further study. You're watching the business news on Bahrain Television. Welcome. The head of the regulatory policy at the Central Bank of Bahrain has said that the kingdom is committed to keeping the Bahraini dinar currency pegged to the US dollar. The dinar is pegged at 0.376 to the dollar and has come under pressure in the foreign exchange forwards market. Today, dollar dinar forwards hit a high of 600 points, their highest level since at least the year 2000. The Bahrain All Shares Index closed at 1,150.48 points today, a decrease of 7.55 points below yesterday's closing level. The decrease occurred in the commercial banks, industrial and services sectors, although the latter represented the majority 53% of total share value traded. In total, there were 57 transactions today involving 1,184,357 shares worth 170,596 Bahraini dinars.